Good morning, Jules fans. Uh, welcome to Jules and Blood TV. Uh, I'm Dave Miller at True Blue Jock. Um, distracting to news, unsurprising news of AD Penick's departure from the club. Um, Ten games, I said we should give him at the start of the season. If you count the uh, Carabao Cup game, it makes very grim reading. I said after the MK game that he needed to go on a run. It just simply didn't happen. There was uh, the little death thrash at the end, if you like, with Charlton. But from all accounts, Rochdale was grim. Lack of fight. Looking at the goals, it was just absolutely shocking. Sunday League defending, some said, but that would be an insult to Sunday League. I do wonder if the players had actually given up the ghost for him. Carsten Moy back to his uh, replaced um, Edinburgh. Wasn't particularly enamoured, gave him a choice, but we just regressed in style of football. And it was blame the players, this is wrong, that's wrong, and give me a chance, my own players. He kept us up. Well, he didn't keep us up. Uh, Port Vale failing to score kept us up. Um, we stayed up, skin of his teeth. He said, judge us. Myself, Day, Lovell, judge me on my team. And 10 games in, I'm sorry, AD. It just hasn't worked. The statistics are grim. Um, six wins in 32 games over his tenure. 18.75% win ratio, which is the worst uh, Gillingham manager in history. And I never thought I'd say that or witness that having uh, sat through Keith Birkinshaw's reign in charge. Rhoda Flanagan. <laughs> so, well, he's, he's, he's certainly made his mark at Priestfield. One win this season. You, you can't, you just cannot go on like that. Um, all eyes now on Mr Scally. Um, I think there's a, a mix of apathy and grim expectation that Perhaps he's going to look to Mr. Taylor, to Peter Taylor. Um, I think certainly in the short term that will happen. Uh, longer term, I just hope it won't. The old adage, the motto of the club, never look back. There is a world outside of uh, Gillingham Football Club, Kent, Medway. There are some good managers out there. Um, but will our budget dictate that we can afford those good managers? Chris Powell... Steve Cottrell would both be excellent additions um, to the to the club, but I wonder if budget is an issue. Um, I'd like to throw one from left field, if I may. Um, Malky Mackay um, lost his job um, at Cardiff for non-footballing reasons. He's served his time. He's done a rehabilitation course regarding sexism. Um, and he's trying to rebuild his career. Did a great job, as I remember. Uh, Norwich couldn't stop a very poor Wigan side falling through the trap door. But this is a man with hunger, good contacts in the game, who is looking to rebuild his management career. Why not give him an opportunity? I think maybe he may take the job with our budget. And go, do you know what? I'll give it a crack. Proven at these levels. So, Mr Scally, if you are watching this, please appoint from outside the Gillingham Football Club a fresh impetus. Somebody who hasn't got the baggage, hasn't got the hasn't got the history of the club. You know, don't try and win the fans over by appointing a fan's favourite. Win the fans over by appointing a seasoned manager, hungry. And will do his thing at the club. This is the only way we're going to avoid dropping through the base, through the trap door in the basement league. So, please, Mr. Scally, listen to the fans. Get someone on, someone else on board, someone different on board. And let's take us forward. So, up the jills. Let's hope that this is a turning point this season. So, away we go. Let's start it tomorrow night at Scunthorpe. Up the jewels.